Welcome to Modern Misconceptions, where today we'll be talking about how one of the most popular home computers in the world, a Mac, is not virus free. So I'm going to start this video off with a little bit of an impromptu rant about Apple because I have some pretty strong feelings about Apple. So first of all, that kind of goes in line with this video. I, I have gone to the Apple store multiple times and they have told me and other people that Macs just don't get viruses. So I actually have a personal little experience about this. So I have a Mac, which I don't brag about because I'm kind of anti-Apple in a sense, and my Mac, I kid you not, came with malware. I turned my Mac on, went to Safari, and I was getting Mac Keeper ads from day one, so I, I don't know. That, that's just, okay. Another thing Apple does is they're so, so overpriced. Like my Mac, I could build that exact same computer. It wouldn't be a Mac, but I could build it for under a thousand dollars. I'm not using my Mac setup right now. I'm just using my current setup that costs about the same as the Mac keyboard, two monitors, computer, everything at the same price as the Mac. So that's my quick little rant about Apple, my two cents in their company. Okay, so now that I got that off my chest, we can get into this week's topic. So many of you will be watching this video on a Mac, and one common selling point of a Mac is that they don't get viruses. Like I said earlier, I have heard multiple Apple employees say that Apple products just don't get viruses, and they're basically lying in your face. So why do they say this? Well, the evidence is actually there that Macs get less viruses than Windows computers, but this isn't because they're immune to viruses. It is actually because Macs simply aren't as common as Windows computers. Think about it, if a hacker wants to infect as many computers as he can, they're going to program their virus to target the most computers, which is Windows. There are only about 60 million Mac users in the world, which is minuscule to the 1.25 billion, with a B, Windows users today. So if a hacker wants to infect the most computers possible, Windows is actually the way to go. This means it isn't even worth it to try infecting Max because it won't impact as many people. So if you still want to argue that Macs still have less virus, meaning they are better to buy, a simple virus defender such as Avast or McAfee will give you way more protection than just a naked Mac. Well, I hope you enjoyed this kind of opinionated video. It was a bit longer than the past couple videos, but I like that because my past couple videos have been a little short, so I kind of wanted to extend the length. So um, be on the lookout for next week's video, and make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you are never late for a new video.